All right, this book is called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. You can already tell I'm going to like it. All right. Mr. Tiger Goes Wild for Tigers Everywhere. And this book is by Peter Brown. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. He's the one in orange. Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose. Indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then, one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. Hmm. He felt better already. Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. Roar! His friends did not know what to think. Peculiar? Wow. Unacceptable. Hmm. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. <gasps> Where did his clothes go? His friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. What a magnificent idea. So Mr. Tiger ran away. He ran away, run, 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 run away into the wilderness. <coughs> Where he went completely wild. Roar. But Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. He missed his home. So Mr. Tiger decided to return. And he found that things were beginning to change. Now, Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else the end. So, Mr. Tiger experiences what's known as a midlife crisis, where he no longer wants to do the things that are expected of him. Now, Mr. Tiger, in this story, we don't know, but he may have abandoned family. He may have left his wife and kids at home and gone off into the wild to do something he thought was better that he needed to do, um, which can be good. And there's some times where it's nice to get away from things for a while, but also it's very important to do what is needed of you for your responsibilities because fulfilling your responsibilities is admirable it's something that you want to be like you want to be the person who fulfills her responsibilities your mother is the best at fulfilling her responsibilities so if for example it's expected that she take you kids to school and it's expected that she feeds you and she gives you clothes and she teaches you right from wrong and she helps out other people in the ward with her calling 
or she goes and she gives food to the homeless, or she helps out uh, at church. Those are all things that she doesn't always want to do all the time. Sometimes mom does not want to feed you. Sometimes she wants you to feed yourselves, but she does what's expected of her every day. She doesn't go wild. And then sometimes we take little vacations where we can go do stuff like that and go back to the woods. The problem with Mr. Tiger was he went to the wilderness, but because he was a city cat and had never learned how to hunt or fish or take care of himself in the woods, he not only got lonely, but he also started to starve to death and nearly died. They don't tell you that in the story, but that's really what's happening. So... You guys don't always know that there's more life lessons going on here. So, Mr. Tiger, got to find the balance, Mr. Tiger, but abandoning everybody to go chase after uh, something you want is not the best thing to do. So, I love you kids. I will never abandon you, and I'll see you soon.